What's going on, everybody? This is Al from Instabay 06 Revival. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on Southern Miss, gave us a tough game. Our offense struggled. Both offenses struggled. There was a total of nine turnovers in the game. Just a sloppy, sloppy game, but we pulled it out, and we are still undefeated. We're number 10th in the country. Season's about halfway over. All of our goals are still ahead of us, and then some. Today we're taking on TCU, one of our big rivals. They've won two in a row. Looks like their, their recruiting has gone downhill over the course of the dynasty. They're up to a C overall, and we're up to a B minus. Their stats don't look terrible. Their defense ain't all that great, but their offense is just is not bad. So hopefully we can take care of business. We haven't had too many issues with them so far in the dynasty. Okay, recruiting. It's a home game, so we may have a couple visitors today. I don't know. We'll see. We are still in the running for, like, all 12 guys, which is crazy. We finally have a down arrow for somebody. So that may tell us we may need, we may need to move on for him, but we'll get to him later. We are still number one for this tight end. Still in good shape for him. Five, uh, we're down to his top five. He, this middle linebacker is down to his top five. We are number one for this receiver. He likes one of our pitches, which is great. We are number two for this quarterback. We still have a good chance with him, I think, as long as we can get a visit. Top five for this wide receiver. He likes one of our pitches. Tight end, we're number one for him. Still in the top five for this A-back. We got a positive pitch for him. This is a lot of positive pitches. I've never seen this many before. Uh, A-back, we're still in good shape for this guy. Or I should say, yeah, he's an A-back. Here's another A-back. Don't know much about him, but we're still number one on his list. Still number one for this middle linebacker. This uh, fullback, or our B-back, still in great shape for him. Moved up to number one on his list. And this middle linebacker, we went down for him. We are now fourth. So that tells me we can go ahead and probably just take the points off of him. And I could just easily, evenly distribute the rest of these. I got one more point left. We can put it... Let's just put on this... Uh, Let's do it on this middle linebacker. No, we already got a positive pitch. We know we got a good chance with him. Not a big fan of this guy's arm, but I love his speed, and that's all that really matters to this offense. Let's put the point on him. So we're in good shape with a down to 11, guys. I kind of wish a few of these guys were ready to take a visit, but they're just not ready to do so. Maybe the Tulsa game. We'll have a few guys ready to come and visit. Okay, let's take on TCU. They run a 4-2-5, but like I said earlier, we haven't had too many issues with the Horned Frogs the past couple seasons. Hopefully that trend continues. I'd like to score more than 28 points today. Last couple games... It's been a struggle, mostly due to turnovers. They got a guard out, a halfback out. Quarterback's putting up okay numbers out of the gate. I'm guessing either their quarterback or their receiver or, or impact guys, maybe both. Okay, looks like we got a rainy game. No, it's pretty night. Thought it was raining. Pretty night in Dallas. They won the toss. They want the ball first, which is fine. Let's check out their roster. No impact quarterback, but he could run a little bit, so we got to watch out for that. Their top halfback is out for the day. So their backups ain't much to get excited about. Impact receiver, but he's also not that much. I mean, their offense in general don't look all that great. Nothing at tight end. 82, 72, 74, 84, and 70, and their top lineman is out. Just bad luck. Oh, man. 
That's tough. They're basically, their top two offensive players are out. So hopefully our defense won't have too many issues today. Again, they run a 4-2-5, so 72, 70 at the ends, 80 and 80 at the tackles. That's not bad. Impact guy, outside linebacker and middle linebacker at 70. Uh, I don't know if this guy will play much. In the 4-2-5, you usually have just one outside linebacker playing, so I'm curious to see how they're going to handle that. That's one thing. When it comes to 4-2-5 defenses, how do you recruit the outside linebacker? I mean, do you just have these guys as backups for your – Left outside linebackers, I'm quite positive the left outside linebacker is your default starter at outside linebacker with middle linebacker being where he's supposed to be. I don't know. Uh, not much a corner. Got some speed. Got some height. What might have in this kid right here, Cordero Miner. Good free safety, and their strong safeties aren't all that great. And remember, this is 4-2-5. You always play two safeties, strong safeties. 59 and 62 at the kickers. That's pretty bad. So, okay, as long as we don't turn the ball over, I think we'll win. Of course, that's easier said than done. Kicks it off. Looks like that's going in the end zone. So, I'm guessing they're going to throw quite a bit. Uh, let's do quarters for now at a 4 3. This quarterback can run a little bit, so I'm going to be a little hesitant to do much zone blitzing. He's going up against a top cornerback. I don't care how good a corner you are, you're going to need some help covering this receiver. He's an impact player that comes up with It's a good stop there. Hurts right. Picked up a yard. Just stick with quarters again. He should be a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, that's a good play. That technically wasn't my assignment, but... Ooh, they're going... Okay, let's just do one high, I guess. First and ten. Ball on the 39. The D-line shifts over. Good stop there. Picked up a couple, maybe. We can try a zone blitz, see how the quarterback reacts to it. You think they're in passing situation. Oh, crap. That was my fault big time. Touchdown. Wow. What a play. No, I think we got him. But that was my fault. Almost had the sack, and I ran right into one of the linemen. I over pursued. We'll do zone blitz again. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. The D line shifts over. And right up the gut. Thankfully that he had nowhere to go. They're running the ball an awful lot. Second and eight coming up here. More than I expected. Power eye set. Somebody jumped early We'll take that. False start. So instead of moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. I'm gonna well, go back to a zone blitz. Like that. Second and thirteen. Ball on the twenty. As long as they go play action or pass it. Pressure, baby, pressure. Pressure from my side. End up getting in the face of Palmer. Third and nineteen. We're in the middle of the field, so I'm not gonna flip this. Like we done it last game. Big play. Big play. Big play. Big play. Eh, eh, eh. Don't fumble it. Whew. That was a tipped interception. That was a wild play. You don't see that too often. It was an accidental tip, to be honest. We'll go here. Yeah, tip. And Blackman picked it up. Awesome. All right, let's just start with triple. We're going man. Four, two, five. Their defensive end is an impact guy. No, it's a linebacker, my bad. They moved him down the defensive end. 
Eh, dang it. That's good defense. I should have kept it. Let's try to make that up. They're going man again. You call that a lot? I call it a ton. They could stop a Peewee team from scoring. There we go, Walton. Inside the 30. Good play there. Now that's how you get an easy first down. Just give it to the fastest guy on the team. Now we can go. I didn't believe it when I heard this kid could run a 4 3 40. And now I'm starting to wonder. Let's run base power. He was moving. It's first and ten. They're going zone. I'll probably go to the right. Get away from their two impact guys on the left. With a full hop back on the ground with a tailback. That's pretty good defense. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Uh, we can try fullback over. Second and nine. They're going man. Ball on the 21. This actually may work out pretty well if the blocking's there. Going to move away from their run away from their two impact guys. Good play. Good stiff arm there by Martin. Uh, so what yard am I on? I'm on the six. I may have to. Let's go back here. We can try a power. I'm, I'm just curious to see what defense they'll call. Hey, I thought they may go goal line, but they're not going to. So that's fine. Maybe because it's on the six. Usually the six is the fringe yard. You're figuring out if they're going to go goal line on you, on you or not, or just do something normal like they've done there. All right. That's a good first drive right down the field. Get an extra point. Right down the middle. And we'll get back on defense, see if we can create another turnover. Get a stop here. Good tackle there. All right. Let's go. They're going gold. Power out again. They've ran this about four times already. I'll do some shift and see if that does anything. Going. Drop back. Ooh, man, I could have had that. That was a bad throw. I don't know what I was doing there. That was my bad. Oh, well, it was a bad throw. Second and ten. I'm going to stand just in case. Good hit. Assessment. Okay. Uh, we're going, hmm. Let's just go back to one high. Ooh, good defense by number 20, by Busing. He got a hand on it. I did not contribute whatsoever there. <laughs> I was out of position. All right, let's get the ball back. Let's see if we can score again. Uh-oh. Go, Henderson. Go, 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 go. Take it, son. Take it to the house. Took two jukes to get there, but we done it. Let me go back and look at that. Scary to juke on an impact guy. I'm not a big fan of it, but I had to do it in order to get something going. Another juke, boom, and then speed took over after that. Awesome. Okay. We'll get back on defense and keep shutting them down if we can. Not the best kick in the world, but it's staying in bounds. Going to their impact guy. That's not good. It's a good stop, though. Uh, 
Uh, let's go back to quarters. Their offense has been pretty balanced. So, and they're going counter. Good stuff. I got four yards out of it. The misdirection play gets them four yards. Power eye again. Go back to one high. Six to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. Power eye set. Drop back to pass. He keeps it. Here's an over. Dang it. Knocked out of bounds. Busing, come on. It didn't have to do the face mask. That's just a random occurrence there. They're either going to do it or they're not. He took him down using his face mask, and that'll be a 15 yarder. You pitch it, and that's the worst way to pick Go back to quarters. March it off, reps. Going with the shotgun here. Coming back to throw. Down the middle. Almost intercepted by Sussman. The job of getting a hand in there to break up the pass. And they're going back to Paris. This is half their offense, it appears. The Horn Frog come out of the power eye. Back to back. Looking, steps up. Sack, somebody got to him. West, of course. You can always count on West to make a play or two a game. All right, third and 15. We'll flip it. SMU has one of the top defenses in the nation. Have a look at the stats. And I'll tell you what, this whole defense seems to be full of all Ah, eh, dang it, I completely botched that. Ooh, almost intercepted by Sussman again. It's like three times he's had a chance. Okay, I'm going all out block on this one. Just everybody get out of the way. <laughs> Hopefully they won't fake it on us. Because the QB safe is not, or the punt safe is not working. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. I'm trying to think what we have a call. Let's do triple out of normal. See how they handle it. They're going zone. I'll probably go to the right again. Sus or Williams is making plays out there, breaking tackles. It's a good play there. Now we can try. Somebody mentioned in the comments running QB fullback option. I've, I've ran. I've never ran this in a dynasty. I've ran it in practice before. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty-three. Either there's something up the middle, or your quarterback's going to handle it. So if you can get a block right there, just nothing. There was nothing up the middle for the B-back. And there was not much blocking on the outside, so we lost it. Let's try a halfback option. Put out of power again, or out of tight. We're going zone. The Mustang with a full house back. Slip. Walt handle it. Dang it. Just good tech. I mean, just no blocking there whatsoever. So it's third and forever. Uh, third and twelve. Our vertical. One thing I noticed, I don't church should not be our slot guy. Hawkins, Ellis, Lowry. Lowry should be my number three guy, so why isn't he? I got him out here. But he needs to be at at the slot. There we go. 72, 76, 74. That's more like it. Now, I'm going to stick with this. We'll just see what happens, see if Church can do it or not. Uh, the Horn Frogs line up with six defensive backs. He's looking down the middle. Wow, well, great catch. By the freshman. Great catch. Not bad. We'll take it. Uh, let's go back to triple. Looks like I'll probably go to the left. Mm. No, let's go to the right. Nothing up the middle. 
Pitches back. There he goes. And he shoved Good play there. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think there's anybody on the field right now that could beat this guy in a foot race. I agree, Brent. He's in a class by himself when it comes to speed. And you can't. I'm gonna try. We haven't done this in a while. Because we just don't have the receivers to really do it. We'll do the triple wide receiver play. We're going man, so we'll keep it. We'll just see what happens. It's like Ellis is gonna be our go-to guy here. One man back here. Fumble. Wow. I mean, what are the odds of that happening? I mean, we can go back and look at it. It's just a impact guy. Fumble. Boom. I mean, what do you do? There's nothing you can do about it. All right, let's get back on defense. I mean, who was expecting the, their impact guy to blitz on that side? I mean, it's like the perfect defensive call for that play. Good stop there by Brantley. Let's try another zone blitz. Maybe we can put him in a really bad third and long. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. Couldn't get to him in time. Quarterback's playing pretty decent ball. He's getting away from my pressure at least. Right, Cloud. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. They come out of the nickel. Lemon steps back to pass. He steps up, looks. He's got all day to make a play. Wide open. No pressure. We try, but just nobody can get to him. All day to throw. Great looking pass to move the sticks on third down. First and ten. Ball in the fourth. TCU lines up with Don't run up the middle. Sack. Good deal. Now it's third and or second and forever. Let's just do quarters. Ace normal. I like that. I like that. We'll take it. Should have been a completion though. We'll try cloud flip since we're on the right hand. See if that works. The horn frog come out in the ace formation. Drops back, steps up. He's looking. He wants all day. Dang it! <laughs> I tried. He had all day to throw. There's no pressure whatsoever, and they go to their impact guy. Well, so much for that. That didn't work too well. Again, pressure. I mean, if you get a quarterback time to throw, he's going to make something happen. It was a one-on-one -on -one situation in the deep corner. So that's what happens when you turn the ball over. The other team scores. I'm going to let that one go. I ain't going to get much out of that one. Okay, we can try. Let's try halfback option again at a bone. Wishbone. Uh, probably just go right. I wonder where they got me at. Second and two. Let's try post cross. We got a down to play with. Not a big fan of throwing on this side of the field. I forgot about their free safety being an impact guy. The Mustang. Come out of the ace formation. Look. He's going left. He has some room. Just don't fumble it. That was a good looking play. Good play there. Uh, we can try triple again. It's working okay. We're not getting much happening on the up the middle with the B back. I go left this time. Nothing up the middle. Terrible pitch. What was that? Absolutely no blocking up front. Just a bad pitch. Is what that was. Let's try basic option. Get some yards back. Going zone. Looks like we'll probably go to the left. Walton is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Here's the option. Good blocking. 
Get out of bounds for the first. And we'll stay here. We can try to full back over again. We're going man. But I'm going in the direction of their impact guys. But if we can just get some decent blocking, we may be okay. We still got another guy sitting over there. And boom. Just terrible play. Okay. See if we can pick up those yards. We're going man. Nickel. And this is the sixth play of the drive. SMU comes Go to the line to the right. the the no blocking. Where's the receiver at on the block? I mean, I just, just wasn't there. And I... Dang it. Uh, well, if we can try it. I hit the wrong button, but this is still a possibility. We can make this work. Okay, touchdown. I was going to go to post cross, but this works just the same. Great throw by Willis. That's a good recovery touchdown off of our defensive bun bungle from the previous drive. Still have a ton of time left in the quarter. So with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is SMU 21, TCU 7. SMU lines up for the kickoff. All right, we've got to figure out something on defense. Last drive did not look pretty. There's no pressure. Just couldn't get it. Front four is not doing all that great by themselves right now. Another interception would be nice, but he's going to take it out. Pick up seven. Five yards. Second and five coming up here. Go back to quarters. The horn cross. Set up in the gun. He drops back. Oh, you got to pick that off. How many times have we done that today? That's what, the fourth time? That's the fourth time. We've had our hands on it. They just, for some reason, can't bring it in. Nope. Sack. Good deal. Uh, I'm not worried about the clock. Uh, yeah, well, we can go ahead and call a timeout. That's fine. They're going to get it all the way down to like a little over a minute, so we can go ahead. I want to go, instead of doing double cross, I want to do return right because I want, if they punt it bad over to the left side, then this may work for us. If they punt it over here, then I'll just fair catch it. But I think you gain an extra man by doing this. This is something I've been just toying around with. This may work okay if we can get a block over there. Eh, just no blocking whatsoever. Nobody blocked him. Okay, a minute and a half. We could try. Post divide. We're going man dime. Okay. I'm going to probably give this to Chase unless they go over and bring both safeties up. And didn't get out of bounds any... Only got three yards out of it. Uh, I guess we'll do vertical. We're going man. Almost intercepted. Third and seven. Uh, I guess we'll go post cross. Mr. Going zone. I still can't believe I'm going after that free safety, but it's working so far. As long as they go cover two. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, why did you stop? That could have been a completion. He stopped right in the middle of the field. We'll punt it. That was a terrible drive. Nothing worked there. SMU lining up the punt. Right, boots it way up there. It's a good kick. Fair catch it. Signals for a fair catch. 
And they make That's a flag. The Could have bumped me into him. All right, let's go back to quarters. The Horn Frog come out of the two tight end set. Mm, go back, go back. Dang it, dang it. How in the world did he get out of that? Maybe they'll just run out the clock. I don't mind if they do. If anyone can force a turnover right now, then it's the man at linebacker. They'll probably run it, maybe? I don't know. Might throw it. Good defense by Sussman. Now it's third and one, so I wonder what's going to do one high. Surely you think they're just going to try to run out of the clock. Good stop. We'll call a timeout. Fourth and two. We'll just go back to the double cross. We can score it off of that one like earlier. TCU ready to punt this one away. Cooper gets it off. Right in the middle of the field. Henderson takes Just don't fumble it. 12 seconds. That's not a whole lot of time to do anything. But what we can do. Let's do seam attack. You've never seen me run this. All reason why I wanted to do it because we got our best player running a post. But I don't know how much room he'll have, to be honest. back to throw. I'm just going to run this one. Got some open field. Six seconds. 48. Uh, what we can do is go to Hail Mary, and we'll pick the play that has our halfback going deep, which is X, because he's our best player. Might as well have your impact guy have a chance at it. Hopefully that made sense to everybody. So we're going to have him go over here, and we're just going to toss it up to him if we can. He rolls out to the left. Going deep, lays it out there. That was a good try. I felt like I increased my chances as best I could by throwing it to him. And that'll do it for the first half of. Well, we're up two scores. I'd like to score a touchdown here and really stretch the lead. Offense still is a bit of a funk. And they'll be returning this one. And we'll let that one go. Though I guess we're not going to. Fields it in the end zone. Mm, that was a weird play. Something crazy could have happened right there. Let's try fullback Sting, if I can find it. Good one man, 5-2. We'll go to the left. Good blocking there. Just scary getting around that impact guy. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs he to is make gassed. Uh, eight or nine off of that one play alone, he's completely gassed. That makes Maybe a ton of sense. You're right, Kirk. That's Let's do power option. They're going zone. Ball on the we'll probably go to line. the left. The Mustang. Line up with two tight ends. Here's the option. And got a little spook there. Still got the first. Brings him down. We have to go here. We've got no choice because we're. And eh, let's just take him out. I'm not going to limit my playbook because he's gassed. So let's just put in Harrison and put in Hall for the remainder of the drive at least. Let's try some triple out of Wishbone. 5 2. Really? <laughs> It's like they know I'm gonna probably just go right up the middle. I'm gonna go left though. Oh, just a little bit of a hole, but I knew I had no chance on the outside though, not with, with the way that defense was set up. Let's go to halfback option. It's second down and six to go. Going zone. Five two again. Zone will go up the middle. Get vertical when you can. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job. Now we can go back to some power. First and ten. 
and looks like we're going to go to the left. The get away from the impact guys. SMU lines up get a block right there. Ball. Boom. Six there. points. There go. Great drive. Awesome. Man, we needed that. That was pure wishbone drive there. Okay. And there ain't nobody gonna catch it from behind. Let's kick an extra point. Get back on defense and keep this thing going. And he tacks on the extra point. Here's the Pontiac drive. And I, I've decided what I'm gonna do at the end of the video. Stay around for it. We're gonna simulate the next week. It's a bye week. I don't want you to miss. Uh, me having to adjust points if needed. I'd rather do that at the end of this video than do it at the beginning of the next. That'll just bore you if I start off a video with simulating a week. Because we do have a bye week next week. Okay. Let's go back to the quarters. This highly touted receiver completely dominated in the first two quarters. He's not just burning anyone. He's beating a very talented quarterback. Where's the mm. Thankfully, it was a bad throw. He was open. We'll, we'll see if this defense has any answers for him in the second half. Yeah, we'll stick with quarters at a 4-3. I've already seen it up in the first half to know that this receiver is not going to be denied the football. The horn frog set up in the gun. Draw. Good stop there. Now it's third and long. We can go to our cloud. We'll flip it. Hopefully that doesn't mess us up like it did last time. Hey, I'm not really going to blame that. It's more or less we just couldn't get any pressure on to begin with. Get him. boy Palmer. Defensive ends, baby. You got to love him. Huge play. He's going to be another great one for us by the time he leaves. We're going to, I think he's a senior this year. Brantley's a junior. Cooper punts it, and it's a good one. Okay, somebody get a block on the left. Good block. Great run by Henderson. We can go back here. We can try double ISO. I want to spread out as such. They're going nickel just to see if we can go up the middle a little bit. Yeah, just nothing there. Should have went to the outside. Everybody and their brother was clogged up the middle. Uh, he's probably ready to go. Martin is. Let's let Hall be the, his backup. We can try fullback over again. I love this play. When the blocking's there, man, it's fun to watch. Hopefully he doesn't get gassed again. Looks like they're going cover zero. Get a block right there. Great play. He's playing pretty good today. Uh, let's do fullback slot and do triple from here. See if they spread out. They're going nickel. I'm okay with that. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, we'll probably go. Let's mm, go left. Don't see anything up the middle. Hey, I shouldn't have pitched it. That was stupid. We still got the first. That's okay. But. All right. We'll just let Walt take care of the rest. If he can, this may be kind of weird against this particular one man backfield. defense. There we go. Okay, I think we got this game under control. I'm not feeling much resistance from TCU, which means you may be able to get to see some of our backups go in there. Gives you a chance to experiment with a few other things if we want. Plays I don't normally call. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. It's funny, our offense tends to get better the more we run it. Looks like like our best drives have come when we didn't have to throw the ball. Throw the ball. Kicks it off. Although it does help to go over the top if needed. Stretches the defense. Good tackle there by 22, whoever you are. 
So now let's try a zone blitz. Don't run up the middle. Oh, that could have been another catch. Big play for them. Very unfortunate. Good play by Bowman, but that could have been a disaster. Second and ten. Ball on their own 13. Lemon back in the gun. Good play there. Now it's third down again. Third and six. They're going, hmm. Let's just do a 4 3 1 high. Looks like they're going power eye on us. Third down and six to go. Ball on the 17 yard line. The Horn Frog. Line up in the power eye formation. They'll line up in the power eye. Lemon drops back to back. Uh oh. And now he's going to run. It's a good play. He just ran out of it. When the pressure's coming from the inside and the quarterback can escape the pocket, it usually means he's going to have some room to run. Go back to quarters. Got a lot of field to cover. Crap. It's hard to say when you're out of view of the screen. I got close, but just wasn't close and enough. Did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. And the impact Let me go right here. Maybe let Brantley try to get him if we can. Wow, what a hole. <laughs> that was easy. And that was a nice run. That was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running run. Go back to quarters. They're going gun to back slot. To the offensive line. Wide open. I didn't know who to get, either him or get the uh, the wide receiver on the left. I was technically supposed to cover the receiver. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. QB draw, that was a good stop there. We'll try another zone blitz. It's second down and nine to go. This is the eighth play of this drive. TCU sets up in the eye. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Good deal. Big sack. So that makes it, what, third and 14. We'll go cloud. Unless we see some sort of miracle, this one's pretty much over. Don't have to flip it this time since we'll do the left hash. Again, I'm still experimenting with this flipping of the play depending on the hash. Dang it. There he goes. All right, fourth. They'll probably go for it here if I had to guess. And there they are. So let's just do cloud again. We'll flip it this time since it's on the right. Oh my gosh, watch this play. Woo, good job by the corner. I was not going to take him over. I would have messed it up. Uh, okay, let's just go ahead and put in our second string. Offense. Let's run triple. Probably go to the left. Nothing up the middle. Now he pitches it. Good run by Henderson. And I want to... Let's do Williams and Henderson. Where's he at? Right here. I want to flip him. Because Williams... Uh, this guy doesn't get the ball a whole lot. First and ten. Wait a minute. Did I do that wrong? 84, I want Chway, I want him to be my backup. So what we need to do, we need to go here, and then Henderson, and that's correct. I wanted, I'm, I'm terrible with first names, Vincent Williams. I wanted to see him out there a little bit. Looks like it is Carlos Williams, or whatever his name is. I got two Williams, hard to keep up with. 
Carlos Williams. Yes, that's correct. I'll probably go left. Nothing up the middle. Just get out of bounds. Nice running on the option so from here we can go. Spectacular option keeper there, and I'm going to tell you why. It looked like that play was going nowhere, but this quarterback made the right choice by holding on to the football. Two right. halfback Good option. Play there by the QB. We're going it's man. Ball on the uh, if they're not careful, this I feel like I need to go left. Gonna make them pay. Here we go. 95 speed right there. Face mask, too, to go with that. Let's see what the call is. Now let's run some triple. From wide. We're going man and nickel. I'll probably go to the left again. I have the numbers on that side. Nothing up the middle. And he got about five yards out of it. Everybody looks a little gassed. <laughs> and I mean everybody. We'll do triple. And five We're going here, zone. The yard line. Uh, and the leader of the defense uh, looks like I got to go left again. Zone right now. Nothing up the middle. Yeah, I didn't need to pitch it. I could have kept it with a quarterback, but that's okay. Let's just do basic power. Going dime, okay. Time to me. We'll go to the left again. Get away from that linebacker. Oop, nope, didn't get away from him. <laughs> I saw a humongous hole up the middle, and he clogged it up. Real quick. You can check it out here. Wasn't expecting that. Look how big that hole is right there. Boom, let me just go up to the inside. But look who's coming through. Boom. Destroys me. Oh, you got to love those good old turnovers. Impact guys. They just make big plays. And I'm going to keep my first ring out there. Just because it's off a turnover, I can see. Oh, here we go. Off a turnover, you know the other team is going to make something extra special happen. So we'll just keep our first string in there on this drive. Hopefully nobody will get hurt. <laughs> oh, dang it, I was out of position. Man. I'm not doing all that well with my quarters as my linebacker. I haven't been able to pick off a, an interception in a while. That was a terrible tackle or attempt for a tackle. Halfback wrecked. Good hit by Sussman. Let's go zone blitz. Dang it. Over pursued. Quarterback's done a good job of getting out of the pocket and making plays. Let's just do a one high. It's third and one. This is the fifth play of this drive. High formation here. Up the middle. First down. And the run is good for the first. Yep, this is nothing new if you follow this Let's team. go back to quarters. Like to run the ball in these kind of situations. Terrific third down play call there. Yeah, I got some backups in there. Everybody's a little bit winded. There he goes. No one open, so he's going to run. And they make he can have those. I mean, they've only scored seven points on us today. I mean, he can run all he wants. It's not really affecting us. Second and two. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. They shift on their defensive front. And off to the full. Dang it. That's a good play call. And he's taken down. Full back over. Really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck. I could run through those holes. Face mask, good job, number 13, whoever you are. I think that's Wiggins. That's two of them today. 
might see a personal foul there, but the referee thought differently. He didn't try to rip his helmet off. So it's that was back in the day when you had two types of face mask penalties, a five-yard and a 15-yarder. Now it's straight up 15. Good catch. Gain of less than a yard on the play. Uh, let's just do quarters again. It's second and two, so they can call just about anything in this situation. Come out in the ace formation. There he goes. He's Palmer brings him down. He kept the ball on that one and picked up the first down. I think it's a great decision by the quarterback here to take off and Again, he can have him. It's not really hurting us. Second and goal. We can go. At this point, doesn't matter. The Horn Frog line up in a goal line formation. Way too easy. Okay. I told you, off a turnover, CPU just gets a little extra juice in their system. Enough for them to score. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Okay. Brown looks like they're going to onside kick. Just right so they can get a high bound. Here's the onside kick. I'm going to keep my second string out there. A minute 39. If we could just. Try not to turn the ball over or anything and run out clock. We can get out of here. Still got their first string out there, which they're only down three scores, so. Stay in bands if we can. Go back to power. Going zone. It's like we're going left again. As long as there are impact guys on that side, I'm running away from it. Just don't fumble it. Okay, I'm going to take a knee from here on out. Good little run by Vincent Williams. Good looking run. All right, good win. That gets us up to 6 0. Again, stay around for the end of the video. We will uh, we'll simulate the bye week, uh, do our recruiting adjustments. That way, you don't have to see that in the next video at the beginning of it. Walton had a pretty good game, 116 yards, two touchdowns. One more knee should do it. And he takes a knee. And that's it, okay. Another, this could be the last win we'll have against TCU. You know, if I don't get invited to the, you know, invited up somewhere, then I'm gonna move on to another team next season. But I'd like to see this dynasty keep going with SMU and see if I can do something in the Big 12 or something, anything. But we won't know until the end of the season. Okay. And again, our final score on this one, SMU 35, TCU 14. So I'll, walk, I'll go through one simulation of the week, which is this week. Then we'll make our adjustments. And let's see. I don't want to save. We'll simulate. Oh, already in the top ten, we got at least six more games to go if we get to the conference championship game. If we go undefeated, 
I'm here to tell you there's a chance we may make it to the national championship game. We were super close two seasons ago. We finished third just outside of it. We went to the Rose Bowl and we took on Texas. That was a fun game. I'd love us to see us sneak into a national championship game, see what we could do there. But there's a lot of football left to be played to get to that point. Okay, let's go to recruiting. Tennessee on the front cover. Okay, everybody has stay put except he's gone down, but we took the points off of him. He's not ready to take a visit. He's not ready to take a visit. He's not ready to take a visit. We're still number two for this quarterback. And no feedback either, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Good shape with him. Good shape with him. Good shape with the A-back. Good shape with this guy. Good shape with this guy. Number one for this guy. And number one for this guy. So nothing's changed, really. I mean, I don't... And nobody's ready to take a visit. So let's just go ahead and uh, let's simulate the bye week. Hopefully somebody will get ready to want to take a visit. I need to get with it. Cross your fingers. I'd like to see at least three or four guys ready to take visit. What's weird is is I, I'm not putting hardly any points into anybody, I'd, and I don't know if that's affecting these uh, players narrowing them down to their bottom, to their top three. Will I have enough points to get who I need? It's just crazy to think that you can get several of these guys with putting barely nine points into them. I don't make any sense, but it's cool to see regardless. But now you can understand how I can get four or five guaranteed players every year with my other method because you're putting so many points into a guy, they can't help but pay attention to you. Okay. Somebody, please, anybody. Nope. 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 We went down for this guy, but we got a positive for him. Ready to take a visit. Good, finally. We're going to do Tulsa. Uh... It's got to be one of these uh, that's not on here. Uh, let's see. Academics, coaching style, coach prestige, program prestige. So it's either location or playing time. It's one of the two. Fresno State, Oregon State. I don't know if that's a location thing. I mean, he's from Oregon. Fresno State's pretty close to Oakville, so we could try location. That may be a negative for us because we're so far away. But we'll do location. This guy's not ready. This guy's not ready. This guy's not ready. This guy's not ready. Nope. So the one that went down... Where's he at? No, that wasn't him. We went down for this guy. But we, he likes our pitch, so dang it. I, just, I mean, I, I kind of want to keep because we have a chance still. Uh, let's do 10 points on him instead. The rest of these, we got to keep going, you know, because we're still one or two for everybody else. Except for this guy, Brian Cook. So I'm going to put the 10 points on him, and we'll just see what happens. So we only got one visitor for the Tulsa game. If we go back to our schedule, it looks like it's going to be the Houston game before anybody wants to visit. Just super late in the process. But at any rate, okay, come on back. We'll take on the Hurricanes, Golden Hurricanes, and I'll talk to you later.